We talk about like a car driving. As position changes over time, we get speed. And when you look at your, your speedometer on the car, it gives you exactly how fast you're going at that time. But how? It's incredibly troubling. You should all be freaking out right now. Okay, the good news is, this question that I'm talking about, that's going to be humanity sort of thing. What we're going to do in calculus, the reason calculus was invented was because, well, obviously the car is going this fast at this time. Obviously, a change happens, and that's it. And the whole idea behind calculus is giving us tools to deal with that instantaneous change, that change out of the snap, the change at a moment. So that's kind of the whole idea. And when we're talking about limits today, that's going to be kind of the idea of the snap. Okay, the second question, which you'll also talk about in humanities, it's called Zeno's paradox. Anyone heard of this? Okay, if I want to go from here to the wall, I'm walking from here to the wall, at some point, I have to get halfway to the wall. From here to the wall now, at some point, I have to hit that halfway. And I have to hit the halfway, I have to hit the halfway, I have to hit the halfway. I think everyone would agree there's an infinite amount of halfways, right? No matter where I am, infinite amount of halfways to the wall. So really, I can't ever touch the wall. Because no matter how short that halfway is, some amount of time it's going to take me to walk that. It's going to take some amount of time to get halfway, some amount of time, some amount of time. That's an infinite some amount of times that are happening. So can I touch that wall? Yes. Someone say no? Obviously I can touch the wall, but if we think about this philosophically, it can become a really hard question, depending on how pedantic um, Mr. McLean wants to get when you talk about this in humanities class. So change can occur instant. Also, if we add together an infinite amount of things, we can get some number. The infinite amount of little steps little time steps I have to take to get there, it does add up to something. And that's kind of what calculus is. It's dealing with those infinities. And the way that we deal with that is with a limit. So you can start writing stuff. Well, normally in math, if I ask you to justify your answer, you can't say, well, obviously it's two. Like, you have to show some reasoning and some things. Because we're skipping a lot of the why behind this, it's going to be okay when we're talking about limits to just kind of say, well, obviously it's three. Because what we have is these tools to solve difficult problems. This is asking, this whole thing is asking the question, what is the y value approaching when x approaches 3? So whenever we see this, think our answer is going to be some y value, it's going to be some output. And the way that we find out what that is, is we look to see what's happening with x. Talk about change, having a before and after. When we talk about what is happening with x, we kind of see where x is headed. It's not what is x, is where is x going? So if we look at as x approaches 3, here is 3, but I don't care at exactly 3. I care about what's happening with the function. So if I try this up, fantastic. Um, it's just as easy to answer this question as it was without the ruler here. We don't care what's behind the ruler. We care about what looks like should be behind the ruler. So Alice. As the x value of our graph gets closer and closer to x equals 3, <coughs> what y value does it look like the graph is getting close to? 1. One. And that's it. When we're reading limits from graphs, honestly, it's, it's never going to get harder than that. That is it. It's what does it look like the y value is getting close to. Peter, as x approaches negative 5, what y value does it look like the graph is approaching? Zero. zero. That's it. It doesn't matter that the graph is zero there, or the y value is zero. Yeah. 
So if you, as our graph approaches one for x, what y value is the graph getting close to? Two. Does it matter that we have a hole here? Does it matter that two is not in the domain? Let's put the graph looks like it's approaching. 